Hello everybody, before we start this video, I would like to say that there's a chance that I might push today's Call of the Wild video to tomorrow because we just got a new DLC here on Hunting Simulator 2 and I want to get this video out as soon as I possibly can. So basically they released a new weapon pack DLC and it includes seven brand new shotguns. We've got the Beretta 686 Silver Pigeon over and under shotgun in 20 gauge. We've got the Beretta 695 over and under shotgun in 12 gauge, along with a bunch of different semi-automatic 12 gauge shotguns that come in a variety of different patterns and it looks pretty nice. A lot of them are very clean looking. Uh, they got a lot of good camo patterns on them, a couple wood stock and uh, composite stock ones, but they look pretty good. I really, I really like the way these ones look, but I, I'm kind of not sure if they should have released a DLC this soon after release when the game still has so many things that need to be fixed, uh, mainly being the animals, their models, their AI. Uh, I feel like they should have focused on some other things instead of creating new guns for a DLC, but we're going to go ahead and check them out anyway. So I think first we'll take out the over and under shotguns. Alright, well it's impossible to tell which one I'm actually using right now. I'm pretty sure this is the 20 gauge based off of the pattern that's on the top. I'm pretty sure this is the 20 gauge. But yeah, let's go ahead and go over here. Because I believe this is the only place I can actually use the shotgun. Yeah, here we go. We're at the skeet shooting range. Not too bad. I mean, the gun looks really good. And it does seem to perform about the same as the other shotguns. Not sure how those didn't even connect a single pellet though, although the shotguns in this game have always been a little inconsistent. But yeah, it's not too bad. Let's go check out another shotgun. Alright, so yeah, that was the 20 gauge over and under, so let's go to the 12 gauge one now. Get a little look at this. It's about the same as the 20 gauge, but with a slightly different wood finish. Let's go ahead and take a couple shots with this. And yeah, this thing actually does look almost identical. And yeah, I don't know how those are missing. Like I was saying, shotguns have always been a little weird in this game. You pretty much have to be dead on or else it completely misses. Oh man, my sensitivity is way too low to be doing this. But we'll keep on testing these out just to get a look at all of them. And this DLC is $4.99 on Steam. So it's a little bit a little bit pricey, but I mean you do get seven different shotguns. So if you really enjoy the shotguns in this game, it might be worth it to you. But today we're here to test out all of these just to see if it's worth it in my opinion, because I'm a little skeptical about it, considering, like I said, there's still quite a few issues with the game that need to be fixed first. This one does look really clean though. I do like the way this shotgun looks. Even though I can't aim. Yeah, I think this is so far my favorite of the shotguns. It definitely looks pretty clean. But I'll give them that. It's a very nice looking shotgun. And that shotgun that we were just using is the A400 Extreme Plus Synthetic. Now we're going to be using the A400 Extreme Plus Max 5. So we'll see how this one looks. It is the first of the camo ones. It's got your typical camo that you would see on a shotgun that's going to be used for waterfowl hunting. So nothing too special about the look of this one in particular. Well, 
Well, it's definitely decent looking, but like I said, it's nothing too special. I really don't see why this pack should be $5 or why they should have released it at this time. All right, next up we got the A400 Extreme Plus True Timber DRT. This one is already looking better than the last one. I really enjoy this uh, camo pattern compared to the previous one we used. I think this one looks a lot cleaner and it's a little more unique. You don't see a lot of games do this particular pattern right here. Not sure how those missed. Those ones looked on. But I guess not. Let's try to get a different angle. Maybe that's our issue. Let's attack these at a different angle. There we go. We got both of them that time. Oh my gosh, I'm actually surprised we hit that. My gosh, we actually got that last one. Let's go ahead and grab the next shotgun. I don't want to be spending too much time on each of these. Because I do want to just get out there and do a little bit of hunting with them. But I figured that we needed to go to the target range first and get a look at each individual shotgun before we take a couple of them out. Next up, we got the A400 Extreme Plus Mossy Oak Bottomland. Another decent looking shotgun. It's probably the most unique camo pattern on these shotguns. Let's see how this gun feels. It's probably going to be about the same because this is the same gun just with a different camo on it. They do fire fast, so I'll give them that. You can fire these things extremely quickly, which is good because that's what you'd want in a semi-automatic shotgun. There we go. And the reloads, of course, look very clean on these. That's one thing Hunting Simulator 2 has done correctly, is they've got really good reload animations for almost all of their guns. And just the guns in general are really nice. That's probably my favorite portion of the game, as a lot of you that watch the channel already know. It's by far my favorite part of the game. But anyway, next up we got the A400 Upland. This is just the basic one the generic wood stock. Nothing too fancy about this one, but let's go take a look at it. We'll fire off a few shots and then check out the reload as always. There we go. Not too bad. Very nice looking. This one is one of the more generic looking ones, but it is still pretty nice. It's very clean. It's definitely a clean looking shotgun. I do really like the chrome receiver. I think that looks really good. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Alright, so now that we've kind of tested these all out at the target range, let's go ahead and take a couple of them out and try to get some pheasants or turkeys on Pawnee Meadows. Alright, we are out here on Pawnee Meadows to try and take out a little bit of waterfowl, test out these new shotguns and see how they perform on some ducks and geese. I have brought out our little Labrador, little crow, so that hopefully we don't lose any of these. Because you can lose the ducks pretty easily in this game if you do not see where they land. And believe me, it can be very hard to actually see where they land. Let's go ahead and scare these off. That was a two for one right there. Well, it was worth a shot. Didn't get those though. 
but so far this performs as any other shotgun would in the game. Honestly, as of now, I don't think I can really recommend purchasing this DLC because it doesn't do enough different. We've already got plenty of shotguns in the game that look very similar and perform the exact same, so so far off of the first impressions of these first couple kills, I'd say just just keep Go keep with the shotguns that are already in the game. Don't worry about the DLC. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. We do have four ducks down though. Yeah, as I was saying, seems to perform exactly the same as the other semi-automatics. So I don't see this being worth it. That is a mature mallard though. So that's kind of cool. We do actually need that for our lodge. So that's kind of cool. We got some more coming in. These ones are some geese. Awesome, we got two of those down. The over and under looks pretty good. It's definitely a sleek looking gun. And this is the 12 gauge version. I'm gonna go ahead and run over and grab that goose. Since it did land on the shore. And then I've got my little dog trying to find the other ones that are in the water. This is an adult Ross's goose. We're at 3 of 10 on that license. Let's see, we got the others right here. Uh, looks like he didn't actually bring them to the shore. So, I'll have him retrieve all of them. And, bring it back to me. and then we will be back. Alright, so he brought in one of them. It is a, just a female, but it is a mature female. I didn't know that the females could be mature. That's good to know. Fetch. So we need to make and sure we get a mature mallard. Or a mature uh, drake. Because that was a mature female. A little mature hen, so we definitely need to make sure we get a mature drake too. And I think that first one that we claimed actually might have been a mature drake. I didn't look to see if it was a drake or a hen. Go ahead and grab this. This is just a young female. Go fetch. We got two more out there. Unfortunately, it's very slow to have them retrieved by the dog. Oh, we hit it. See if we can get another shot in it. Too many hits. Too many hits. How? I only hit that thing once, and on the second shot, I got too many hits. That's honestly something they do need to change with the waterfowl. You should not get that fine for hitting it too many times. There's another mature female. Those seem to be pretty common, actually. All right, little crows got us this little goose. Let's go ahead and bag this. It is another Ross's goose, a mature female. So we got a couple matures that we can keep for the lodge. I'm just going to have to remember which ones they were. All right, while our dog is getting that, let's go ahead and swap out these shotguns for a couple of the others. I don't think I'm going to use the 20 gauge just because it looks identical to the 12 gauge. And we've already used 20 gauges in this game before so I don't really see the point of testing that one out let's go ahead and claim the animals though uh, I gotta see which one is one we need to keep okay we actually need to sell that sell that I believe this is the one we need to keep let me just check the others sell that sell that okay so yeah these are the two that we need to keep so we'll keep those two for our lodge. We'll at least keep them until we get ourselves some males to replace them. Go ahead and swap out a couple of our weapons though. We'll take out the regular A400 upland. And then we'll also take out... Uh, let's take out the synthetic one. Give these two a try. Alright, so I moved over to the other lake to see if we've got anything here. Let's take a quick look, and it looks like there's nothing here besides this one white-fronted goose. There's some. They are landing right there. Let's go around here and see if we can get a good look at them up close, because I don't feel like taking that long of a shot. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot one of these.
Oh, we got a few of them. Oh, we got some more out there now. There we go. Couple more geese down. Our poor little dog has to swim all the way across just to get all these birds. That poor little thing. I think I might run around to that side to make it a little bit faster. Because otherwise this is going to take quite some time for him to retrieve all of these. Alright, here is the first little blue-winged teal. This one is an adult. Let's go ahead and bag that. Uh, we're almost full on our duck license, so... I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to claim all these. I might get fined. Which is one of the downsides to hunting for the waterfowl in this game. You do get quite a bit of fines if you're not careful. There's been quite a few situations just like this where my tag is about to be filled and I don't realize it and end up shooting a couple too many. And then you end up getting fined for it. And there's also some situations where you hit them multiple Fetch. times and get fined for that too. So it's, it's just not a very profitable way of hunting in this game. Unfortunately, I think they need to make some adjustments to the waterfowl hunting in order to make it a little more worth. Here we go. Here is another teal. This one's actually a mature one, so we are probably going to keep this until we get a mature drake. Let's have our dog retrieve the last couple ones, and then we'll probably head back to our lodge. Alright, here we go, a little Ross's goose. Another mature female. We already saved one of them. But I don't think we'll save another one unless it's quite a bit bigger. Alright, there is a mature male blue wing teal. Okay. And we can't bag it. Are you kidding me? Of course, the second we fill our tag, we actually get a male that's mature, and we can't even keep it. That is pretty sad. And because I can't claim this, our dog's not going to go and grab that, because it's just going to keep grabbing this one, unfortunately. Although, let's see, if I aim at it, maybe it will retrieve the right one. Fetch that. Hopefully. Ah, uh, no, it's just going straight to the teal. Alright, well, we're going to get quite a few fines for this little hunting trip, but the main thing we want to do is just to see all these new shotguns, test a few of them out on some waterfowl, and kind of make a decision on whether or not I feel this is worth the $5 that they are currently charging for it. And, honestly, I don't really think it's worth it. As I said earlier, when we first started the hunting, it just doesn't seem like any of the shotguns are that different from the ones that are already in the game. If you like the aesthetics of it, then, you know, by all means go for it, but... I just feel like, as a gameplay... at a gameplay standpoint, they're not that much different from the current shotguns, and they honestly don't even look that different. So I would not spend $5 on these. I feel like if you want to get this pack, wait for it to go on sale. Wait until they have a sale on all their DLC. And, like I said earlier, the fact that they're even releasing a DLC this early is a little bit worrying, honestly. Because this is the same thing they did with Hunting Sim 1. They released a DLC relatively soon after the game was released, and then they never updated the game again. Not saying that's what's going to happen, but there is that chance. And, yeah, I just really don't feel like this is worth it. Seems just the same as all the other shotguns. I feel like they really should have gone with a different DLC. A shotgun DLC is not that good of an idea in my opinion. If they would have done a rifle DLC or even added handguns in, I feel like it would have been a lot better and more worth it. Because let's go ahead and look here at the shotguns. You already have plenty of different shotguns in the game, including a bunch of semi-automatics and pump actions. Because right here you got the semi-automatics. So like they already had a good variety of shotguns. I don't see any reason for them to really add more. But I mean I guess that's what they decided to do and that's what we've got for now. Hopefully in the future they'll focus on some more important stuff like polishing up the game and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but that's going to be it for me.
If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.